Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you 10 foods that I buy every single week, girl. Every freaking week of my life. <laughs> These are just staple foods that I like to incorporate in my diet. Some, actually most of, almost every single thing you're about to see, I eat daily. So yeah guys, let's just jump right into this video. But first, if you're not already, definitely hit that subscribe button for new videos every single week, yeah. All right guys, so in no particular order at all. You ready? So this is the only thing that I'm incorporating into my diet that isn't technically a complex carbohydrate. And I eat one of these pitas a day in the morning time. So right before I work out usually, Give me that little boost of energy. It's from the brand Middle East Bakery and I get it from Whole Foods. It is whole wheat and very, very low carb. There's only 15 grams of carbs in one of these bad boys, all right? I make a delicious breakfast sandwich with this. Some egg, maybe a little bit of spinach, some avocado. This is my carb that gets me through my workouts in the morning. Low sodium, only 105 milligrams, okay? I go low sodium because I do not like that feeling of bloat. I do not agree with water retention. Nobody likes that. Only 77 calories in this bad boy, so it is a low calorie, low carb type of carb. All right, guys, next up. Oh, your girl's been loving this lately. Tempe! Tempeh. So this is also from Whole Foods and it's from the brand Light Life. There is no freaking sodium, no sugar, nothing. I mean, it's it, it, nothing, just high freaking protein, 19 grams, okay? For about a third of this, which is nothing. So this has whole grain in it and it's pretty much soybeans. It's made out of soybeans, like tofu, but 10 times better tasting, because tofu for me, <sighs> nasty. So uh, yeah, this is very tasty, and I was shocked when I first tried it, because if you make it correctly, like if you like fry this up in some olive oil or, or avocado oil or something, it tastes like a freaking home fryer, right? Add a little bit of like pink Himalayan salt, dip it in some organic ketchup, and you got yourself a healthy home fry. A lot of you have seen this in a lot of my other videos, and I've gotten a lot of DMs saying how much they love it, so that's awesome. This is, I'm still eating it, the red lentil penne from Barilla. This is rotini, I prefer penne, but they're always out. This is a beautiful thing. Why? Because there's one ingredient in this. One and one only red lentil flour. This is your dose of complex carbohydrate right here with high iron, high protein. And like I said, there really are a lot of carbs in this, 34 grams for two ounces, which is not a lot because it's 100% complex, which means your body's gonna burn through it very, very fast. It's the kind of fuel your body needs. It's the best. It cooks in minutes. It's so good. You can make it like any other pasta with like red marinara sauce or whatever. It doesn't taste like regular pasta. Okay, don't get it twisted. It's not like you're eating and it tastes like regular pasta. It tastes like lentils, except 10 times easier to eat because no, ain't nobody got time for dry lentils. All right, guys, next up. Oh, if you haven't tried oat milk yet, you need to try oat milk. This is from Whole Foods as well, and it's from the brand Oatfly. It is dairy-free, okay? No soy, nothing like that in it. It's made out of oats. Oats, baby. The main ingredients are oats and water, okay? And a bunch of vitamins. I love drinking this with my protein shakes, okay? I do drink about two protein shakes a day, and this is my go-to because it's delicious. It's creamy. It gives that nice creamy flavor. It's a really amazing substitute for regular milk, okay? Less calories, it's just cleaner overall. So if you don't mind the taste of oats, like oatmeal, then you would really like this, okay? Because I'm an oat kind of girl, I love oatmeal. But if you don't like that flavor of oat, don't even think about this, you ain't gonna like it. <laughs> so there's no dairy, no nuts, and no gluten in this bad boy, and it's 100% vegan, okay? Check it out. Check it out. You guys, I buy way too many of these and we, we go through it 
freaking organic bananas. I eat quite a few bananas a day. They are higher in calories. They're perfect for right before a workout for many reasons. You have the potassium. It helps to eliminate any type of cramping. Only a couple bananas will hold you over for a couple hours of a workout, okay? So if you're on a time crunch and you need to quickly eat something before the gym, that's not gonna make you feel like crap, you know? You don't wanna eat too much right before you work out, but yet you don't like that feeling of being hungry, girl. Nobody likes that feeling of their stomach growling when you're trying to do a sit-up. Bananas are a really great, quick snack to eat, super inexpensive, and I like to buy the organic kind. Little fun fact, uh, how to tell organic from non-organic bananas is when the banana starts to turn brown over here, the stalk up here should be turning brown with it. And if it's not, if it's still green while the rest of the banana is turning brown, that ain't organic. Next up is my organic spring mix. It is already washed, it's ready to eat. Cause I don't know about you, there's nothing more annoying to me than having to wash lettuce, wait for it to dry, pat it down, you know what I mean? Like, girl. I struggle to get my vegetables in every day. I do, okay? I'm only human, it's kind of hard, and I don't feel like sauteing veggies every two seconds. So what I like to do is have this spring mix on hand. It's easy, it's quick, convenient, ready to go, and I can add it into any meal. You can cook with it with your eggs, okay? Saute it up, or just have it as a lunch, a side, a dinner side. It is the quickest way for me to get my vegetable intake in. You could throw it in a smoothie, all right? So yeah, I eat salad pretty much every day. So yeah, salad is just something that is very important to me because I can throw a bunch of stuff in, avocado, sunflower seeds, and just make this amazing concoction of deliciousness, okay? It's super lightweight and uh, doesn't make me feel like crap. <laughs> Next up, baby. We got eggs. All right, I eat a lot, a lot, a lot of eggs. High protein, great source of vitamins, all around the yolk too, girl. I eat the yolk, I eat it all. Not just egg whites. These are from the brand 365. I'm not really gonna go into, I mean, you know, eggs are eggs. But I eat these for breakfast in that pita wrap, okay? I eat about three eggs in the morning, and I also make myself hard-boiled eggs. At all times, I got them on hand in that refrigerator. When you get that hunger, girl, when you're just like, oh my, I'm hungry, but I don't feel like cooking anything, don't reach for anything unhealthy. You reach for that hard boiled egg. You can mash it up, throw in some healthy dressings. You can do it. And then just kind of like label it hard boiled egg <laughs> or put it in a separate container. One too many times we thought we was eating hard boiled eggs and we just cracked just a raw egg on our paper towel. And um, yeah, okay guys, another big one. Oh my God, James and I go through this a lot. Oh, we go through a lot of peanut butter, a lot of peanut butter. This is from the brand Smuckers and it's their natural chunky. The reason why I like to go with this, it is the very, very super natural peanut butter. You know, the one with the annoying oil at the top that nobody likes, I can't stand it. What helps is when you get these, when you buy them, keep them turned upside down until you're ready to use them. This way, all the oil kind of seeps through those, the dry part of the peanut butter so that you're not just left with all oil and just dry to the bone peanut butter, it's nasty. I eat these with baby carrots, celery. I eat them with my banana, banana and peanut butter, right before the gym. This is my condiment, okay? This is what I eat all my veggies with. You know, I stay away from the ranch and the creamy high calorie types of dressings, Peanut butter is the healthy fat you need in your diet, girl. These types of healthy fats will keep you feeling fuller longer, so it really is a great pre-workout type of uh, snack, okay? Peanut butter is the way to go, and it will not cramp you or bloat you. This particular peanut butter has very, very low sodium, which is why I got it. I get the chunky, not necessarily because I like chunky peanut butter, but chunky is actually healthier than smooth peanut butter and i don't know why but it seems to always be the case when i read the nutrition label for some reason the chunky is just it's just always cleaner okay don't know why i really don't but that's the way it is so that means i'm gonna buy the chunky peanut butter girl okay yeah 
So guys, this is not a low calorie food, all right? This is a high calorie food. So this is why I eat it before a workout. In days that I'm not working out, I just go really light. That's it, all right? So just be mindful of that. Okay guys, so next up, salmon. I eat a lot of salmon throughout the week, not every day. Okay, I do mix it up, I mix up my proteins um, and it's really not that great for you to eat fish every single day. So this salmon that I buy is from Whole Foods and it normally comes in a big bag, frozen big bag. I believe it's from the brand 365 but I just threw out the bag like yesterday and I didn't even think to keep it. But um, salmon is high in omega-3 fatty acids which again, like I said before, healthy fats are a must when training. Um, so really good calories right here. High, high, high clean protein. Salmon is like a staple piece, especially when I'm cutting, okay? Because the natural fats and the high protein really, really just freaking knock it out of the park. The omega-3 fatty acids are really good for your joints. Really good, especially when you're lifting weights, you need those joints nice and lubricated, nice and limber, really great for your heart health as well. So salmon is just one of those things where it's like one of the best things you can put into your, into your body. I pick this salmon, this brand from Whole Foods in particular, because a lot of the like frozen types of fish that you might find at your local grocery stores are jam packed with sodium to the brim. So just be mindful of that. I really love this salmon because there's virtually, I don't believe they add any sodium and I'm sorry, it's just not necessary. All right guys, last but not least. Oh yeah. Guys, I eat avocados, yeah, pretty much daily. I eat them with my eggs in the morning. Again, a really great form of natural fats. And sometimes James and I really love to mash a bunch of these up and add it into the penne pasta. Okay, as like a guacamole pasta. It is so freaking good, you need to try it. And you add a little bit of hot sauce in there, some garlic and onion powder, oh, it's so flavorful. It's like a Mexican pasta and it's unbelievably good. All right guys, that was it. Those were my 10 healthy foods that I buy every single week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. It's very important to know what you're putting into your body. I can't stress that enough it will affect your everyday living. There's just no doubt about that. Stay tuned for more. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.